Hey everybody, back to show some autos that I picked up recently with some Panini points. And I've had Panini points literally for like a few years now, but every time that I would go on the website and try to spend them on something, couldn't really find anything that I wanted. They mostly had a bunch of junk on there. And even when they had something decent, they always wanted like a crazy amount of points for it. So I was pretty much ready to give up on those points that I had. But recently I decided to check again and was pleasantly surprised. They actually had some stuff that I liked and... They weren't asking too many points for these, so ended up with seven cards overall. All of them basketball cards because the baseball and football stuff that they have on there still kind of sucks. But anyway, I'm just happy that I was able to find a few things to spend these points on. What I'm not too happy about is they put scotch tape on all these top loaders. So now I have to replace them all. But yeah, it's mostly a lot of these old school NBA guys that you guys know I like. And a few current guys too. There you have Del Curry. Some of the younger viewers might only know him as Steph Curry's dad, but he was a solid player in his own right. Not nearly as good as Steph Curry, but decent shooting guard. Was a starting shooting guard with the Hornets for a while. Next you got Ron Harper. Really like the look of that. A lot of people know him for his championships with the Bulls and Lakers. Won three with the Bulls, and I know he won at least one with the Lakers. I don't know if he was there for all three of the championships the Lakers won in the early 2000s. But yeah, with the Bulls, he was kind of like a starting role player, if that makes any sense. Because he was a starter, but he wasn't the type of guy that was going to take like 25 shots a night or anything like that. But he just fit that offense perfectly, and when Phil Jackson went to coach the Lakers, he pretty much took him with him. But what a lot of people forget in his early days with Cleveland and with the Clippers, he was a pretty good player. He was like a borderline all-star level player. That's numbered to 199. So yeah, nice to have an auto of him with Cleveland. I think that's where he had his best stats. But still would like to get an auto of him with the Bulls also. Next you got Brian Grant. Pictured there with the Heat. Which I think he was with the Heat earlier in his career, but that's like a later version of the Heat jersey. So I didn't know that he went back to the Heat later on. I think his best years were when he was with Portland. That's where he really like changed his hairstyle and started posting some better numbers. Like he really found his way there. This one's numbered to 74. So I would like to get a Portland auto of him. But that one just looked really cool. I have a few other autos from this set. So I was happy to add that one to the stack next you have another nice one here from gold standard Chuck person who they call the rifleman he was like a power forward slash small forward but he could shoot like a shooting guard which is not that rare nowadays but back then you didn't really have a lot of forwards that could shoot like he could so he was another really decent player during that time and then Wesker Griff might remember this guy, Aaron McKee. He was on the Allen Iverson-led Sixers that went to the finals. And he was a solid player on that team. Again, kind of like a starting role player. I think he was a starter, but, you know, with Iverson being such a ball-dominant guard, you needed guys like this that didn't really need the ball in their hand all the time. Could help the team in a variety of ways. But yeah, I really like that nice on card auto there. I think it has like a canvas type feel to it. And then these last two are going to be for the Knicks PC. Got a Tim Hardaway auto. Which I already have like three or four autos of them. But again, we're just looking for stuff to add to the stack and spend my points on. So figured why not I'll get another Timmy auto there. That one from Prism. And then this one also from Prism is uh, DeAndre Jordan who was very briefly with the Knicks but cool that he has a Knicks auto had some really good years with the Clippers played with the Mavericks a bit I think yeah, it says Nets but pictured with the Knicks so I'll put that in the Knicks box but I always say like with players like this even if they play like five games with my team it's cool to have an auto of them in a Knicks jersey same thing with all my other teams in other sports so happy with that one as well so pretty nice stack there again happy that i 
finally found some stuff to spend those points on. I still have 100 points left, but they didn't really have anything for 100 points, so those will probably stay stuck in there forever. But anyway, I'll be talking to you guys again sometime soon.